iVac Pro is a wireless system for automatically turning dust collection systems on and off. It's the latest evolution of the original and popular iVac switch box introduced in 2009. What started as a simple, hardwired switch for use with small 115 volt power tools and shop vacs has now grown into a complete wireless switching system for controlling larger workshop equipment. Today's iVac Pro allows virtually all 115 and 230 volt stationary power tools to switch dust collection equipment on and off wirelessly and automatically. There are three reasons automatic workshop dust control is a smart idea. Safety, convenience, and respiratory health. By eliminating the need to travel back and forth to the dust collector to hit the power button, automatic switching makes woodworking more fun. It's also safer when you don't need to reach for a vacuum switch while working with potentially dangerous power tools. Fully automatic dust control is also better for your lungs because it eliminates the temptation of making just one cut without proper vacuum pickup. The iVac Pro system is unique in the world. It was designed and tested in North America. It's been fully inspected and approved by the Technical Inspection Agency to UL and CSA standards. It also meets standards for radio frequency compliance as tested by the FCC and Industry Canada. iVac Pro works with the kind of stationary power tools typically found in high-end home workshops and small woodworking businesses. The original iVac Switchbox is a tool for do-it-yourselfers and works with 115 volt tools drawing up to 15 amps. Switch the tool on and the iVac switch box automatically activates a 115 volt shop vac or a dust collector plugged into the unit and drawing up to 15 amps. When you switch the tool off after a cut, the switch box keeps the system running for about six seconds. Enthusiastic customer interest in the switch box led directly to development of the iVac Pro line. It has two components that work together iVac Pro Tool, which connects to table saws, jointers, thickness planers, sanders, and other woodworking tools, and iVac Pro Switch that connects to dust collectors. iVac Pro Tool transmits radio signals reflecting the on-off status of the tools you're using. The iVac Pro Switch receives these wireless signals, turning your dust collector on or off automatically in response to tool status. Both iVac Pro Tool and iVac Pro Switch come in four variations, depending on the kind of power tools and dust collector you're connecting them to. There's 115 volt 15 amp, 115 volt 20 amp, 240 volt 15 amp, and 240 volt 20 amp. All iVac Pro components have resettable internal breakers to protect against current overload. The iVac Pro system also includes adjustable turn off time settings depending on how a series of small internal switches are positioned, your dust collector will run for 0, 5, 15, or 45 seconds after any one of the controlling tools is turned off. There's also a factory set turn on delay of one and a half seconds. This staggers the startup power surges of the power tool and the dust collector. The specified wireless range of the iVac Pro system is 40 feet, but most users find it works well beyond this. You can also assign your system one of four unique wireless addresses, so it operates independently of neighboring systems or alternative dust collection systems installed in the same workshop. Each iVac Pro tool module can be configured to one of eight different tool addresses. This lets the switch part of the system know the on-off status of every power tool around it. The first power tool turned on activates the dust collector, while the last power tool turned off shuts the collector down. You can also override automatic operation by turning the mode switch on or off manually. Small internal switches allow control over all the customizable features of your iVac Pro system, and they're easy to adjust. Both the iVac Pro tool and iVac Pro switch units have a removable access panel that protects six small switches. These control how long your dust collector keeps running after tools are turned off 
and they also allow the unique system addresses I just mentioned to be assigned for independent operation of neighboring IVAC systems. Begin by removing the switch covers on all the IVAC Pro Tool devices in your collection. Each one must be assigned one of eight unique tool addresses. On the back of each unit, you'll find a tool address sticker that shows the various switch positions for three of the six switches. Switch numbers S4, S5, and S6, shown here on the chart, correspond to the numbers 4, 5, and 6 along the bottom of the switch block. Flip each of the switches, either on or off, in a configuration that's different than all the other IVAC Pro Tool devices in your setup. The inscription on the bottom left-hand corner of the switch block shows which direction is on. If you've got more than one IVAC system working within wireless range of each other, you'll need to assign each system one of four unique system addresses. Move switches 1 and 2 on all the IVAC Pro units in one system to the same position, and all the switches in the neighboring system to another configuration. There's a chart sticker on the back for this too. Adjustment of the IVAC Pro switch units comes next. Start by flipping switches 1 and 2 to match the system address you just assigned to all the tool units. Next, turn your attention to switches 5 and 6. These allow control of the turn-off time for the dust collector that's plugged into the switch. Most woodworkers set both switch 5 and 6 off, allowing the dust collector to run for 5 seconds after all controlling tools are shut down. You can also choose 15 or 45 second run-on times or immediate shutdown of the dust collector when all tools are switched off. I hope you found this product tour useful. I'm Steve Maxwell and thanks for watching. Thank you.